Okay, hopefully I just explained what F2 means or F4 or F8. Uh, I've talked about a stop. You know what a stop is when it comes to ISO or shutter speed. And I took a little break to write something on my chalkboard so that I could, I could talk about what a full stop is uh, in aperture. Now, I told you it ought to be clear that if you move your shutter speed from a 30th of a second to a 60th of a second, you're letting in half as much light. If you're changing your shutter speed from a 500th of a second to a 1,000th of a second, you're letting in half as much light. If you go the other direction from a 1,000th to 1 500th, you're letting in twice as much light. That's pretty easy. But let's say we're at f2. And you want to let in twice as much light as you're already letting in at f2. Well, actually you can do that with this lens, with a 1.4 lens. You'd have trouble doing it on. You'd have trouble even getting to f2 on some lenses. But uh, So if you want to let in twice as much light, you do not double the diameter of the aperture. Well, actually what you want to do is double the area. How do you double the area? Ah. If you remember, the area of a circle is pi r squared. So if I start off with some particular area, which I would call a sub 1, and that is the result of pi times r sub 1 squared, and now I'm just going to suggest a solution for you. I'm going to suggest a solution and show you that it works. I suggest that I multiply r1 by the square root of 2. And let's see what happens. Pi times this new number squared actually comes out to 2 pi r1 squared. Or in other words, twice a1. This is twice this. This equals a1. So this is twice the, uh, the old area. That shouldn't be too much of a surprise, since the area is proportional to the square of the radius. I only have to increase the radius by the square root of 2 in order to double the area. Now, I told you that that aperture number, I didn't say the aperture number was radius, I said it was diameter. Well, but it's the same thing. If you multiply the radius by the square root of 2, or multiply the diameter by the square root of 2, uh, it's, that's, that's the same thing. So, getting back to my lens here. So the stop, the full stops written on my lens are 1.4, which is the square root of 2, 2, which is the square root of 2 squared, 2.8, which is the square root of 2 to the third power, 4, which is the square root of 2 to the fourth power, 5.6, which is square root of 2 and fifth power. I'm basically I'm just moving by factors of the square root of 2. And so of course every other number will be twice the number from from 2 ago. So for instance, if I skip numbers, I'm at, I, I can go 1.4, 2.8, 5.6, 11. And if I start at 2 and skip, I go 2, 4, 8, 16. Uh, many lenses offer f22. This doesn't happen to be one of them. And in larger formats, you'll get even larger apertures. So anyway, a stop, one full stop, although it, you know it wasn't immediately obvious from these numbers, but one full stop either doubles or halves the amount of light falling onto the sensor in the case of aperture and shutter speed. Or in the case of ISO, it just achieves more or less the same effect by amplifying the signal from the sensor. Uh, so that's what a stop is. There's a little uh, aperture mathematics. And thank you for watching.